Hey dudes, what is going on? It is Saturday, and I have been slacking off on y'all. This is the first video of the week after being getting back from Christmas. Hope hope y'all had a great break. I I know I had a good one. Aside from the return journey back here to Kansas, back here to Rolla, it was a pretty good trip. Got a so story time. Sorry, I thought my hands were a little dirty. Uh, story time, story time, story time. Okay. <laughs> Flying, I, I flew from Houston to Denver. Because I, I had Christmas in Denver, as, as you all saw from the last video, few videos. And I was supposed to fly, my flight from Houston to Denver got delayed by like four hours. I know, right? It's awesome. And <laughs> so the flight that was... Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, was supposed to come back, come from Denver to Liberal to get me back here. That left with now, without me. I mean, I mean, maybe they could have held it for a few minutes if we weren't that late. But there was a huge snowstorm in Denver, and it, I mean, it just dumped and dumped and dumped. And so I got up to Denver, and I mean, it was it was late at the it was late at night. It may have been early morning, something like that, because that night I was like, you know what, I'll I'll just get a hotel room, and I found information that said that my next flight was going to be leaving at eight thirty the next morning, on Sunday morning. So I said, oh, you know what, forget the hotel room, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> of course, I also had stood in line for a while to ask people questions. Uh I said, okay, I'll just stay at the I'll just stay at the airport that night. And then So that's what I did. <laughs> Come to find out later, about two o'clock, I got I got the thing. I was like, you know, I just want to double check, want to make sure that my flight's actually at 8 30. Nope. The flight had gotten canceled. Can sold. <laughs> so I could have gone to a hotel. Because the flight didn't leave until 4.17 p.m. Sunday afternoon. Sunday pre evening, whatever. So I, I got to spend the entire day in, at the Denver airport. It was not fun. I mean, it wasn't the worst experience ever. I, I at least got to... When I, when I ate everything, I went and sat on the western side of the airport because they've, they've got big open windows where I can go and I can look at the Rockies, which those that was really pretty. I am not going to lie. But other than that, it was not a fun time. Yeah, I literally slept on a bench and down and down in the sub, sub... down in the bottom part of the airport. Not the basement, but down there where like the smaller flights are out of <laughs> and so it, it was pretty cool but yeah dude there really has not been much going on this week or really i've just been slacking i mean we've had basketball games the junior high did well did really well they just gotta get out of their heads because i, I talked to a couple of them and they're like yeah we've got this theory that if the girls win the boys are gonna lose. If the boy, if the girls lose, the boys should win. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Just because the girls lose, you should you shouldn't base. I was, I was talking to one of the boys. It's like you shouldn't base your play expectations based on how the girls do. Sure, that might give you some idea. I mean, a lot of times teams are tough. I mean, if you have, I mean, more than likely you're gonna if you have a, well, a tough team. The other team's gonna be just, or is gonna be pretty tough too. But they're like, no, it totally makes sense. And I think it was Monday we went and played Yarborough, which is in northern Oklahoma, pretty pretty close to us. And the girls won, but the boys lost. So I looked at the boy that told me, and I'm like, well, I guess that totally throws your theory out the window. And he's like, no, no, it doesn't. Theory's still valid. I'm just like, dude. That doesn't do you any good. You're gonna you're gonna play like garbage if you go out there thinking, oh well, the girls have 
won, so we're gonna lose. Or, oh, the girls have lost, so we're just automatically gonna win. No, you gotta go out there and kick butt, no matter what. So, but next week, next week's gonna be, or I guess this coming week is gonna be a lot of fun. We've got, the high school's got three basketball games, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, because we have homecoming on Friday. And so this week we got homecoming week. Monday will be pajama day. That'll be nice. Get to go to work in my pajamas. Tuesday I think is nerd day. So I gotta figure something out to do. You know, I'm already I'm guessing I think I'm gonna probably just wear my Captain America shirt and a flannel. Can't remember what Wednesday is. Thursday is flannel day, so I'll wear another flannel. I love flannels. They're so comfortable. And then Friday I'm gonna dress nice because it's homecoming and I'm a coach and high school, or high school coaches typically dress nice for homecoming, so. So yeah, dudes, it's, it's been a week. Oh, and it's been freaking cold too, and I love it. <laughs> the kids hate it, but I'm loving it. It's one of those take your breath away type colds. You walk outside and it's like, ooh, can't breathe. It's amazing, I love it. So, all right, geez, I'm going to go ahead and get inside. I've got to get some, get laundry put away and actually work on some laundry because I just shoved it all in my dryer before I left and it's still sitting there. So it's been in there for like three weeks because I'm lazy. So y'all know the routine. Don't forget, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications for if you want to be notified whenever I post a new one and don't forget to keep living your best lives dudes I will catch y'all in the next one peace out Girl Scouts